Hello. Hello. Hi, my name is Mohammed. I'm my one of the ED doctors. Can I confirm your name and level, please? My name is Rabab. Uh, me, FYI, FYI, FYI one. Oh, hi, Rabab. Nice to meet you. Me too. So, how can I help you today? Uh, I just want, want you to uh, to teach me about the, the C spine uh, clearance. Canadia. Fine, okay. Um, so, that's a nice topic. Um, so, I'm going to teach you today mm -hmm. how to assess and clear the C spine. Okay. Um, and then, um, if you have any question, please feel free to ask me immediately. Okay. And at the end, I'm going to give you some lectures and online resources uh, for further studying. And at the end, I will be happy to meet you again um, for uh, more discussion okay, next time. Great. Thank you. So uh, today, I'm going to teach you about how to use the Canadian C-spine rule. Uh, we have uh, something else. We have another guidance. It's called Nexus Criteria. Mm -hmm. But for the time um, being, I'm going to explain only the Canadian C-spine rule. Right. And we can do the Nexus next time. All right. All right. Good. Uh, <coughs> so the Canadian C-spine rule, by the way, sometimes we can't use it at all. Mm -hmm. For example, if the patient is uh, pediatric, less than 16 year old, if there is any focal neurology, if abnormal vital signs, um, if low uh, grass coma scale, for mm -hmm. example, or if there is any previous uh, C-spine um, surgery. Sure. All right. All right. So let's go to our patient. And okay. then we will, um, I'm going to speak while uh, doing the assessment, okay? Okay. Yeah. Hello, sir. Hello. My name is Mohammed. I'm one of the ED doctors. Um, what's your name and your uh, date of birth, please? My name is Mohammed. Mm -hmm. I'm just passing the All right. Nice to meet you. Uh, so I have been told that you have, uh, you've been involved in an accident today. Um, we would like to assess your cervical spine. Is that okay? Yes. And this is my colleague, Dr. Rabab. Uh, she will be here for the purpose of teaching. Is that okay? Yes. Good. So, um, do you feel any pain so I can give you painkillers? No, it's fine. All right, okay. Uh, I'm going to call another uh, one of the nurses to attend as chaperone as well. So, um, can you tell me your date of birth? Uh, 19, All right, okay. Uh, so, I'm going to assess for any high risk feature. If any of them present, then we will keep the, um, the collar and, and scan our patient, okay? Okay, okay. So now his age is less than 65. Um, that's one of the high, if, if the age is 65 or more, that's one of the high risk. And can you tell me about the mechanism of the accident? Uh, I was driving my car, then another car uh, hit me from the back. Oh, sorry to hear that. And what about the speed of the other car? It was almost 40. 40 miles per hour? 40 miles per hour. Okay. Have you been pushed to the ongoing traffic to another car or anything? No, Any roll over or ejection from the car? No. All right. So this is not dangerous because of injury. All right. And do you feel any pins and needles in your arms or legs? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, so there is no procedure in an extremity. Yeah. So okay. we don't have any of the high-risk features. Okay. So now safely we can go to assess one of the one, any of the low-risk features. If any one of them, uh, then we can remove the color and assess the range of movement. And already we have one of the low risk, which is simple rear end mm -hmm. uh, uh, impact. So now we can remove it um, and, and immediately assess the range of movement. Yeah. But for the purpose of teaching, I will tell you the remaining uh, low risks. Mm -hmm. So if the patient is sitting position in the emergency department, if he is ambulatory at any time, if there is delayed onset neck pain, yeah. or if uh, there is absence posterior, uh, posterior midline tenderness. Okay. All of these are low risk. We need only one of them. We don't need the, all of the five, okay? All right. And it's simple rear end now, so we can remove it and assess. So, Mr. Maas, I'm going to remove the collar and ask you to turn your head right and left. Okay. Uh, if you feel significant pain, then don't move your head, and we will put the collar back and scan your neck. Okay. If not, then we will remove the collar, and I will explain more, okay? okay? So, can you turn your head right and left for me, okay? Fantastic. Is that comfortable? Yes. Good. Thank you very much. So we don't need to uh, to scan your uh, spine because it, there is no evidence to suggest you have you have fracture in your spiker spine. Okay. Uh, so there is no indication for any scan and exposing you for unnecessary radiation. Okay. Uh, I think you can go home safely. If you start to feel anything abnormal, like any pins and needles or weakness or anything concerning, you can always come back to us. Is that all right? Thank you very much. I'm going to remove that. Thank you. 
So as you see, there is no high, any. Uh, we have one of. We don't have any of the high risk. We have one of the low risk. That's enough to remove the color mm -hmm. and assess the range of movement. No significant pain. Then it's safe to remove it. Yes. All right. Yeah, and right. discharge the patient with, if there is no other injuries mm -hmm. with good safety testing advice. Yeah. Do you have any question? No, thank you. Thank you very much. All right.